Good morning, I've got a couple of days off work so I'm going to have a look at the pond um, I've just bought some new stuff and I don't know if it's snake oil or the koi version of snake oil I've seen it down at Burton's Aquatics when I was looking at drums and I'm going to give it a bash I can't see, if, uh, I can't see that I've got anything to lose so what it says it does is that it competes with the bad bacteria in the pond so if it out competes with it it basically stops the bad bacteria infecting your fish I'm not so sure but I'm going to give it a bash it's coming up to the winter months the pond's getting colder the bacteria is dying back so the bacterial infections should get less anyway but I'm hoping that it kill everything absolutely everything back without compete with it when the spring does come if I keep applying this stuff uh, when the fish become a little bit more vulnerable as the pond water warms up they should be less prone to bacterial infections time will tell it cost me £41 with delivery I think the delivery was £6 so it cost around about £35 for two and a half litres uh, in my pond that should give me around about three applications the quantity that you put in is funnily labelled actually it's got 50 mil per cubic for every cubic metre now I think from what I've been told by Burnt Aquatics anyway there's 220 gallon per cubic metre so for my size that should give me around about three applications so the first one's going to go in today as a preventative measure if you want to use it to treat bacterial infections then you simply increase the dosage um, I've got no bacterial infections that I know of with the fish so I'm just going to keep it down to preventative um, dose so I don't know if you can see it but round about halfway down and below you can see some sediment in the container so what we have to do is to shape the container vigorously to get it all to mix up so that's what I'm going to do give it a good shake There we go. I don't know if you can see it moving around. Hope it turns out you can see um, it's quite thick. Lots of little strands in there. Perhaps you can see it better this side. instructions are to put 10 litres of warm water in a container with 5 litres of pond water um, I've got a 10 litre watering can there so what I've done I've just put two thirds warm water in and one third pond water and then I'm going to empty just a third of this container of Nigel Lacto, Nigel Lacto Remedy and time will tell if it works or not so we can get this in there without spilling it everywhere Just a touch more.
That's a good look. There you go, so I reckon I've, I've used two thirds, uh, sorry, one third. Originally that's a level. So put the cap back on. I'm going to give it a good stir. This is my trusty iron stirring rod. Use this for all sorts. Right, next stage is to leave it for five minutes according to the instructions. So I'm going to do the instruction, leave it for five, presumably uh, that will waken up the bacteria in the solution, and then I'll just spread it evenly around the pond. Uh, the other thing is, um, there's also clear instructions to turn the UVs off. So I've done that already. So all that remains is five minutes of time and pour it in. Five minutes are up, so all I'm going to do now is just pour it evenly around the pond. So as you can see, in the pond, uh, this time of year you get one or two leaves floating in it. Uh, they tend to fall through the bridge. And I'm hoping that this stuff can act as a little bit of a sludge destroyer. Um, I do get sediment on the bottom as the leaves break down and obviously that can be um, somewhere where the bad bacteria can grow so I'm hoping that this stuff will outcompete with that stuff uh, as I said before time will tell so anyway let's crack on with it on the other side Uh, one thing I did fail to mention is uh, that you can use the Nardu Lacto remedy uh, from 7 degrees Celsius upwards. So the water temperature is around about 12 degrees at the minute, so I'm well within the range. Uh, the initial thing is it certainly made the pond go a little bit more murkier, not a massive amount, but it's, it used to be crystal clear and yeah, it's gone a little bit murky, but then I expect that to clear up over the next few days. And for those interested in the tea house, that's coming along. Um, as you've probably been watching, the last video showed uh, the tea house railings going up. Um, yeah, and that's it for a few weeks on that at least. Um, I tend not to put the covers on until the temperatures or the water temperature drops below 10 degrees so I'm hoping to keep them off until at least Christmas time at least um, at which point I put the covers on and it's simply uh, white tarpaulin um, slightly opaque so a little bit of light does get through for the fish and yeah it seems to work um, I've had no losses over winter for a couple of years now And with that, I'll see you again next time.